Hi, my name is Christoph and today I want to show you how to use Elastic for Sol classification. And first of all, let me start Elastic and maximize the window. So um, to process images in volume, we first have to create a new project. So I click on create new project and here in the dialog I could enter some meta information. But for now just let me add some images. I take those two cell images and now they're displayed. Um, to zoom in, you can use the control key and use your mouse wheel. So you can zoom in then and use the mid mouse button to um, pan in the images. So what we see here, um, these are cell nuclei here in red. In green, there's cell cytoplasm what we have here is background and also some special phenotype over here which is a mitotic cell. So our aim is to distinguish those four classes. So I go to the classification tab over here and as you can see on the right side it pops up this toolbox and I create four label classes for each of our class we are interested in. But before we start actually labeling and learning these four classes, we have to compute some image features. I can select image features in the classification tab by pressing this button. You see there are four um, predefined groups for image features. We have color, edge, orientation and texture. And you can select those features at various scales. So on the right side is a preview of uh, the filter radius used for this um, scale. So for our task definitely the color is an important feature so let me just select color at a medium scale and now the features are computed. So I start labeling now by selecting the class 0. Um, I want to use this class for indicating uh, for indicating cell nuclei. I increase the brush size a bit by pressing M and yeah, and start give my first label. So I label to those uh, two nuclei here. Change to the green class and indicate some um, cytoplasm. I use the yellow class for background, and by using the blue label, I indicate our special phenotype over here. So now uh, we can start the interactive part via switching to the live prediction mode. So I click here and. Now Elastic computes um, a prediction based on the user input and as you see here on the uh, upper left there's still some errors. When I uh, disable those overlays on the right side you can see that there's an inhomogeneous uh, lightning in this image so it's bright uh, in the lower right corner and it shades towards the upper um, left corner and I can correct for this by just giving some additional labels. Um, so I go to the red class again by pressing K. So with K I can go through the labels and just give some more examples for cell nuclei. And you see elastic rects on this input and now we are fine with the cell nuclei. We may give some more background labels. So I go to the yellow class and I indicate a bit more background. And yeah, for now we are fine. Let me just stop the interactive um, uh, mode. And now we can compute the segmentation for all images. And this also creates um, a hard thresholded version of the probability maps. Over here you see there's a new overlay. And by right clicking on this overlay I can change the opacity value. So then we can see through this overlay. And well that's our segmentation. So let's go to the to the other file I loaded and therefore I go to the uh, file selection over there, select the other image, and then we see the segmentation of the second image. I disable the overlays and look at the raw data. As you see, um, those mitotic cells over here are uh, correctly uh, detected, but there's also some false detection down here and here, maybe. Um, yeah. So now I could continue giving more labels and correct for these errors, um, but for, for now, just let me save this project that I 
can continue tomorrow and I just save it to my desktop um, giving the name cells and now all the images predictions and labels are saved so I can easily um, uh, continue working on those files tomorrow so thanks for listening that's it for now and enjoy <laughs>